So let's turn this little jewel. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Or thinking. Billy, that's a mighty big skew for such a little blank. <clears throat> There's a story behind this skew, and I'll tell you later. I learned to use a, I made myself learn to use a skew when I first started turning pins. I don't like gouges as a rule. I like my bowl gouges on bowls. I like a nice, uh, steep grind spindle gouge when I'm doing spindle work big spindle work let's look at this Well, that didn't take long. I'm not quite down there. Let me move you over. I'm not quite down there yet, but I don't know if you can see the voids that are left in some between some of the pieces that's my little chip out from my <clears throat> barrel trimmer I'll fix that with some uh, maybe an off cut anyway these voids what I'm gonna do now before I get it any smaller is I'm gonna mix up some epoxy and I'm gonna add I'm gonna make it mix up some epoxy and I'm gonna add a little black uh, paint it is automotive polyurethane it works great it doesn't affect the strength of the epoxy that I've found so there's you another little tip now some of this I've already filled like right in here you I don't know if you can see that very well but I filled this before I put it on the lathe I tried to get it all filled but I, I knew I'd miss a few spots so I've got to go back in here and add a little black epoxy to this but that's how you turn between centers it is that easy and we'll come back after I get this back on the lathe after I got some epoxy on it <clears throat> okay I just remembered I got sidetracked when I started to tell you about the skew being a pretty big skew for <coughs> pardon me being a pretty big skew for a small pen and, and it is but it really isn't because it does the job and it does it well. I had the fortune of meeting the our modern skew master Alan Laser at SWAT back in August and uh, was privileged to be able to sit in his seminar on how he grinds and sharpens the skew. And it it made a believer in me. And so the first thing I did when I got home is begin to reshape this skew so that it looks like his grind. And I have to tell you, I mean, I'm not finished yet. I've just begun by flattening off the top. You still want to keep your point to point at 70 degrees with the top flat <clears throat> for about the first third and then the sweep back and uh, and then sure and honing the, the skew between cuts when you need to with a 600 grit diamond stone or diamond card 
excellent, excellent, excellent information. It's saved me a lot of time and it's made a huge difference. So, that's why I use the big skew. Now, <clears throat> the camera died on me last night so I didn't get to, to show you me taking this back down, but I will, let me see if I can get in there. I did fill those blanks, I mean the void, quite a few voids there were in that blank with black epoxy and smoothed it down so it's all black in there now and typically when I get through with a skew cut <clears throat> I can start sanding at about 240. Uh, this is really really smooth looks good uh, it's nice and smooth so I'm gonna start at 240 and then I'll put some lacquer sanding sealer on it and finish it up
this micro mesh is expensive. <coughs> I bought this set oh, 12 years ago. No, 11 years ago. I bought two sets. The first one, I didn't know how to use micro mesh correctly, and so I burnt through it in about three to four months. This set has lasted me since then. It still works, it still cuts great. When it gets dirty, I throw it in a washing machine in a net bag, and then come back out and work it again. There's a, thing, there's a couple of things you need to know about micro mesh. If you're using it dry, always use the backer pad that they supply with it, always. Another thing you have to remember about micro mesh is you have to be quick. It doesn't take much. And if you overheat this, it will melt. And you can see where I've overheated it in a couple of spots right here. I was still learning to use it. But the rest of this sheet cuts just fine. So, let me show you the right way to use micro mesh. 